Minecraft's End Dimension went so long without major updates, last one being 1.9 Combat Update, sometimes called End Update. And yes, there were some new things added that have an impact on players deciding to go out exploring the end again, such as addition of Schalke boxes. It's been over 5 years and 10 updates since the last end themed one. Wouldn't it be great to get another end update? Exactly 10 updates after the previous one. Just look at those titles. 1.16 Nether update, 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update, 1.19 end update. Okay, but what should such an update contain? After the revolutionary 1.16 update, every player basic idea for end update involves fancy new biomes, but for me it doesn't feel right to put bright, lifeful biomes in this dual dimension. Although I was one of the few who originally disliked new and other biomes, so as for biomes, we are going back to dislike new nether biomes. Although I was one of the few who originally disliked the new nether biomes, they eventually grew on me. So as for biomes, I would add some kind of purple forest with purple trees, as it would give a lot more options to build with purple blocks. And for God's sake, make purple, realize purple. New tree types are always exciting for builders as well as for technical players who can be challenged in new unique way. Unfortunately, it started getting repetitive with all those infinitely farmable tree types. That is why I would want the new tree type to require a 3 by 3 sapling grid, technical community was never challenged by something like that. Easy farm would probably be built right in the first snapshot, but it would take weeks of development for us to see a first 16 game tick farm or maybe even 12 game tick farm taking the title of fastest wood farm. Ok, enough about trees, ever since 1.14 there is a bug in the end world generation adding additional void rings besides the first one. There are a few servers that reach those milestones, but due to the distance from 0, zero it can only be considered a novelty, so my second biome idea is just the void, a massive biome covering over 75% of the end dimension. Coincidentally, that's the exact amount of people that aren't subscribed to my channel, so if you are enjoying my, the video so far, consider subscribing, it's free and give me a lot of motivation to work on my videos. My biome ideas don't end there. We can push it even further. Do you remember Snapshot 21v13a? It applied overworld generation to the end dimension, creating a beautiful landscape with glitched underground end cities. Maybe it was a foreshadowing, call me crazy, but what if it was? The only other time developers foreshadowed something was on April 1st, 2013. Minecraft 2.0 added stained glass which made its way to the game couple months later in 1.7. Have you ever wondered where Mushroom Islands came from? Adding Mushroom Biome to the end generation would expand upon Minecraft lore as well serve as an important faction of providing food, same as Hoglin did in 1.16. Do you remember Striders? Personally it's my least favorite nether update edition, but they're they are early game fast way of transport across. So you know what's also annoying to get across in early game? Void. Introducing the Void Strider, a mob that by its own doesn't get affected by gravity, but when you mount it, it starts getting gliding slowly, and if you gave it a slow falling portion, you have just found a levitating Rider that you may remember from several snapshots. 
A nice addition to end update would be Shulker spawners in form of expansions to normal end cities or just completely new structures. Because some players are not technical enough to make those highly advanced infinite Shulker farms in 1.17, they are pretty hard to do, to be honest. I barely get a hang of them, but uh, what some new players would do about those. Just throw us crystal and shark caves generating in the end dimension because I don't think anyone will be going out of their way to search for that stuff. Few months after 1.18 drops, Meteor Craters only place where you can find new and explosive resources. Imprinted to bedrock meteorites remains Developers stated that they don't want to add more powerful tools and armor type, but want them to feel unique. So new armor type will probably float over the void instead of being fireproof like netherite is. Have you ever thrown your trident into void? I know disappointing, but when is a better time to fix that problem by applying new material to our trident making it immune to void and on par with netherite sword since trident was balanced by diamond sword standards it's extremely rare to see someone use it in 1.16 plus and since we are on the topic of tridents thunder biome name speaks for itself you're free to use all of the the trident functions in that biome for what purpose pvp and just wait, I'm saving the best for us. And the moment you all been waiting for. The glue that sticks everything in this update together. Make your own gateway. Have you ever been unfortunate enough to roll a seed with a closest badlands biome tens of thousands blocks away? And have you ever traveled this distance using overworld or have you always used the nether? Andron doesn't have such a shortcut, making it a really unpopular place to build endgame farms or mega bases. Since it will take a lot longer to transport all the materials and even to get there, when you want to visit the, the place. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So the solution to this problem is already in use. At least, it was. On 1.12 vanilla servers. By using some complex game mechanics, such as uh, erasing data from gateway portals, servers like Prototech were able to set up gateways all around the dimension, including world borders. It's a pity that many servers are no longer able to use those mechanics for fast travel, so why not bringing them back and making them understandable? Easiest way to introduce something like that is probably by a special item that you can, for example, color code like leather armor giving us a crazy amount of possible combination. The new item would simply place a gateway portal block linked to second one with the same combination. What should be this item crafted with? I think something rare and non-renewable like elytra or new end material, so we can just spam it whenever we go. So time to expand upon my previous idea. We could get creepers to where we teleport them to a thunderstorm biome, strike them with lightning and get them back to overworld. I am a huge fan of uh, renewable sponges in carpet mode by striking a guardian with lightning it becomes an elder guardian. Just imagine hooking up a guardian farm to end portal where they can get teleported even further so they can get transformed providing you with sponges. The different issue is the end chunk loading. Basically even since 1.12 full end dimension chunk loading doesn't exist. There are some ways to load the main island but uh, uh, it's just a main island so it's not like we've got full-fledged chunk loading like in 1.12. To make the end even more deadly, maybe bring back the original idea for Phantom, because they originally were meant to spawn in the end as well as in the overworld. Just imagine 
the terrific feeling when you get attacked by a phantom while crossing over the void with your void strider. Unfortunately that's all that I've got for today. Did you agree with me or maybe you have some crazy ideas yourself? Share your thoughts in comments but down below. If you enjoyed the video leave a like and consider subscribing. Take care, see you on my next livestream. Bye!